With so many fans of any given sport, it's expected for some of them to be a little over the top. When a fan sitting courtside at an NBA game tried to poke some fun at LeBron James behind his back, a perfect timing turn occurred. Sometimes it just takes one person to make a mess. When a bunch of fans in the crowd were looking like they were about to jump to the pitch, one actually managed to do it, which caused the rest of the crowd to follow, causing a massive mess and took almost an hour to take all of them out. During the second half of a college football game between Arizona and UCLA, a man kind of started a chaos when he dressed up as the referee and walked into the field, which put all the players on edge, and it snowballed into a big conflict, which thankfully was resolved quickly. What looked like it was just one of the defense players making a great job was actually a fan who jumped into the pitch, and when the other players noticed, they weren't too happy about it and chased him until he escaped through the tunnel. It's normal for fans at any sports game to be excited, especially if their team is winning. Not sure what prompted this, but a Cavalier fan decided to stand up in the middle of a game and just started making a sort of robot dance. When the Cubs won the finals, one of the fans in the crowd sneaked into the pitch to celebrate with them, and the players were so excited, they didn't seem to mind the fan. Okay, a good lesson to learn is to never mess with a mascot. When Utah's Jazz Bear was sort of poking fun at a Cavaliers fan, he didn't take it too well and tried pushing the mascot, a thing he regretted seconds after. A probably very sad moment for a basketball fan happened when former NBA player Kobe Bryant threw his arm sleeve to the crowd and two other fans took the sleeve away from him and even though he didn't seem too disappointed at the moment, he probably regretted it later. A very bizarre moment at a football game happened when a fan managed to bypass security and jumped into the football field. Then the fan proceeded to bump players and then just kind of ran away, leaving everyone confused. Some people have better reflexes than others. When a young baseball fan saw a ball going towards the woman sitting a few rows next to him, he decided to create his own luck and take the baseball. It's no secret that NBA players are big, with the average height of players being well over six foot. A very bizarre moment happened when a young fan decided to push Russell Westbrook without much success, obviously, and Russell proceeded to give the fan a lesson. Working on a triple double. Four for, four for six from the floor, uh, from the three point line, excuse me. And I <laughs> a fan might have went a bit too far when he threw what seemed to be a sort of plastic at Cristiano Ronaldo. Luckily, he was okay, but his teammate got scared for a moment. Okay, this is not completely the fan's fault, but a good thing to keep in mind is not trying to go for the ball when you have a huge platter of fries and a world-class athlete heading towards you. He just misses this. Look at the guy right there. A pretty illegal move from a fan at an Arena League game happened when one of the Sharks fans grabbed one of the players from the opposite team by the helmet and didn't let him go. And despite his actions, he still got the approval from some players. I'm pretty sure that's not legal. Football, but yet you gotta stay out of the field of play and he about rips a face mask. Well, they, yeah, there's, of there's, two, there's At a high school volleyball game, one of the players got super excited that her team was winning and went to give high fives to the crowd. And well, the fans got a little too excited, bringing the barrier down with them. It's no secret that people who sit courtside on important NBA games are generally very wealthy. When an intense fan was caught on camera telling LeBron James to suck it up and kind of taunting him, turns out that fan was no other than Judy Love, who's the fourth world's richest woman with a net worth of $4.7 billion. Here. Despite the tough words, they ended up winning, and LeBron posted the moment on his Instagram.
During a volleyball game, a fan with the shirt of the team walked into a team picture like he belonged there, without security, or even other teammates realizing he was an imposter. With autographed sneakers by famous NBA players going for several thousand dollars, it can be expected for fans to go a bit too far for them. When Steph Curry tried giving his shoes away to some fans in the crowd, it turned into a small scuffle with some of the fans. An Arsenal fan with a pretty good aim did a very disrespectful act when he threw an empty water bottle at English soccer player Dele Ali. And well, as a sort of revenge, Dele Ali taunted the fan by showing a 2 and 0 because Arsenal was losing by 2 points. Hurled in the direction of Dele Ali on a night where both managers had asked for supporters a sense of responsibility. Well, he doesn't Dele need to be one. When a baseball fan thought he was grabbing a foul ball at a baseball game, turns out it was actually a fair one, and he regretted it seconds after and felt pretty bad about it. When a fan saw that his favorite team was in risk of getting a goal in, he decided to distract the players by throwing money into the pitch, which is a kind of a weird strategy, considering footballers are paid extremely well, and he only threw singles. Not sure how these fans managed to sneak all the toilet paper, but for some odd reason, Belgium fans decided to throw massive amounts of toilet paper during a football match, which ended up delaying the match. With so much security in NBA games, it isn't usual for fans to manage to get into the court. Somehow, an over-the-top fan managed to go unnoticed by security after a game ended and proceeded to taunt Russell Westbrook. Well, there it is late, and he pushed him aside as Westbrook was just walking off the floor. A clip went completely viral when the cameras caught an NBA fan who looked at Steph Curry in a sort of seductive way, which is inappropriate considering he's been married for over nine years. Probably one of the most bizarre moments during the middle of a boxing match happened when a man with a parachute landed in the outdoors arena during the fight. The parachute man was arrested and took 30 minutes to get him out of there, a thing which Evander Holyfield later complained because it gave his opponent time to recover. Time. Tried to come in and time has been called as some maniac has attempted to parachute here. When a fan invaded the pitch just to take a picture with Abramovic, he didn't want to do it because, well, it's wrong. And when security went to grab the fan, he wouldn't stop grabbing him. During a long jump competition, one of the athletes was struggling to surpass the previous athlete who was in first place. So when she went to talk with the coaches for advice, some fans got super excited to be on camera, which was kind of a distraction for the athlete because she started to look over at the camera screen. When players in a basketball game hear a whistle, the game completely stops for the referee to make a call. A fan decided to use this as an advantage to throw the players off when they were about to score against his team. Double team it inside, Curry off. That ball's loose. What happened? Break away. You know, Corbett, everyone down thought too. they heard a whistle. I heard a whistle. Did the you hear a whistle? Stopped. When James Harden was about to shoot a free throw, he noticed a sort of spark in the crowd, which apparently was a man who took a picture with a flash. And that for some reason made Harden pretty upset, and the fan was asked to leave. Now, you can't do that at a game, but I, I almost thought he security up. A totally not cool moment from the part of a crowd member happened when he took the baseball that was meant for the younger fan in front of him. Thankfully, the fan didn't seem too disappointed.